Hi guys, this is a brand new tablet from Huawei. It's the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inches. It's got a brand new stylus, this one here. The Apple M Pencil third generation with 10,000 levels of pressure. It's supposed to be superior even to the iPad one. We also have a 13.2 inch flexible OLED screen here and a bunch of accessories like the keyboard here with quite a few gestures for this touchpad. This is a multi-touch touchpad and uh, it comes bundled with a 512 gigabyte storage version. There's also a version with half that uh, storage and uh, i'm pretty curious about the specs here aside from harmony os 4.0 you are getting quite a bit of stuff 12 gigs of ram 512 gigabytes of storage 2880 over 1920 which is the uh, pixel resolution and the cpu is a mystery to me i'm going to have to dig a bit about that so the battery is a 10,000 milliamp per hour unit just so you know and we have six speakers on board and four microphones so yeah there's that and a special sga certification for the acoustics of the device now camera wise, this device has a dual back camera setup, 13 megapixel and 8 megapixel, I'm guessing one is ultra wide and um, I should probably mention that we should have 4K capture and an LED flash for some reason is included here. It's got a 94% screen to body ratio, it weighs 580 grams and it's just, pay attention, just 5.5 millimeters in thickness. So let's actually remove it from its accessories. So just 5.5 millimeters. It's got a magnesium chassis and a fiberglass covered backside. It's quite good looking in this hue here. I heard that the price is around uh, 1,200 euros or something like that. And uh, it's meant for creativity. It is also promise of the Huawei sound with certification, 88 watt Huawei supercharged turbo and antenna Wi-Fi's which are spread around the device to get a 360 signal and very fast Wi-Fi. Plus superior heat dissipation with the stamping steel VC. But most of you are probably curious about the whole stylus thing. So yeah, we're here with the stylus and uh, we should be able to do some writing with it. You're just seeing the multitasking now and uh, you can go here to the notes. You can go back, create a brand new note and start using all those tips like a fountain pen, like the pencil or the ball pen. Uh, set up the thickness, the pixel or the color. I've seen people draw with it, I've seen people do handwriting with it, underlining notes and much more. It's a very sensitive stylus. I've seen artists on stage here in Dubai showcasing their work courtesy of this device. So yeah, you can also do writing like this, you can also do handwritten text and you can even play the piano if you want to, thanks to this app, provided that the volume is turned a bit higher. Okay, that's just one example. People have been doing that on the iPad for a while. It's clear it's supposed to be a rival for the iPad Pro, but it has a bigger screen. The iPad Pro has a 12.9 inch screen. This one has a 13.2 inch screen in the same uh, format. I'm talking about the thickness and the weight. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, you should probably also be able to customize it from here with service widgets and the likes. It's a pretty fluid experience. I'm guessing that we have a high refresh rate here, even though I'm not sure about that. It's definitely happening and gaming should also be part of the equation. There should be more apps in App Gallery to take advantage of this stylus, the M Pencil third generation, for drawing and also for taking notes for students and so much more. So one of the most powerful and promising Huawei tablets, the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 2023 light with a big battery and a stylus and a keyboard. So yeah, a lot of promise from this device. We're going to have to wait and see how it fights the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and the iPad Pros. Goodbye.